Welcome to Lola Lee Chat. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. Well, the saga continues between Monique and her eldest estranged son. Looks like he wasn't feeling his mother posting their private messages to the community. And just in case you missed it, you can see those private messages in my previous video. I'll link it in my comment section and also in my description. So her son said, I guess the intelligent thing to do when assuming your son is having a mental episode is to post personal messages that are three years old. And you know what? I've tried to remain neutral in the situation by not giving an opinion, but I don't really understand the point of them revealing their son's mental diagnosis. I feel like that is for the son to say, not for the parents to say. And also Monique posting the private messages between her and her son. As a mother, I would never do that. But again, I'm not in their situation. So she quite possibly had her reasons for doing so. And the other thing is, this disagreement is between Monique and her son. But in the rebuttals, Monique's husband did most of the talking. And I really feel like maybe the husband should sit this one out and allow Monique to deal with this with her son. So that's what I got to say on it. Anyway, listen to this. Here we go again, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Shalon. <laughs> I'm going to jump right into it. I guess the intelligent thing to do when assuming that your son is having a mental episode is to post personal screenshots of text messages that are three years old in an attempt to validate a false narrative as if they are some type of receipt. You also invaded the privacy of my daughter's grandparents by posting your receipts. Neither of you should never speak on mental health again if you thought that that idea was a good one. As a person who lives with mental health issues, picking up the phone to check on your son that you believe is having a mental episode to make sure that he is okay, while also making sure that your granddaughter is safe is too much to ask, I guess. For those wondering, I have gone to therapy on several different occasions, and that is not something that I will ever be ashamed of. I have even gone to therapy with my mother on several occasions. But for those who know how efficient therapy works, therapy only works when both people are being open. My mother was still in her 15-year-old mentality phase during that time, so I guess I understand why she did not know how to be open with me during our sessions. When a person becomes accustomed to being a victim and others get used to seeing them as one, they live their lives in a state of internalization, meaning you consistently receive another's approach as an attack, constantly putting, excuse me, constantly putting you under the illusion that you need to always be on the defense, even in situations where there is no actual attack, just an acknowledgement of things already said by you. One should not feel attacked by an acknowledgement of the words that they stand on. You eventually become a passive aggressor. To address the men that had something to say in regards to men don't do what I'm doing, let me be very clear. How I man is none of your business. What and how I feed my family has no place on your plate. For every person that stated I should not have come to the internet, I would just like to ask, what do Club Shay Shay, the articles about my mother and I's relationship, the interviews about our relationship, and Instagram all have in common? Well, if you are competent, the internet. Furthermore, I did not expose my mother, nor did I badmouth my mother. I simply provided context to what was already being said about me, while also explaining why I don't speak to them directly. <clears throat> the reason those that feel negatively about what I said are just having a hard time differentiating between Nikki Parker and Monique. Please stop with the cornball idea that a celebrity can talk about a family member on the internet for years, but God forbid said family member says any one thing and you all are outside with tiki torches and pitchforks defending not the actual person, but the idea of a person. These people are in an industry that is efficient at making money off of what is pretend. So in essence, you are defending a character. I love my mother, and it took the birth of my daughter to help me begin to understand the value of a mother. I am very proud of my mother, though, 
and I'm proud of the things that she has accomplished and will go on to accomplish in the future. My mother's bad, man. I watched that woman go from Baltimore to the moon. That drive is also in my daughter's blood. Not only is she still my mother, she's also a part of history. And I would be doing my daughter a disservice by not telling her about who my mother is and was. But since those messages that you posted were used as some type of a receipt to validate your false narrative, I figured I would take some time to gather up my receipts to validate my decision to move forward with my life without my mother in it. Um, I do want to thank you all for listening for the now final time that I will ever address this topic and I will leave you with my receipts. All right. As many of you guys have said in my comment section, this is a very articulate, well-spoken young man. What are your thoughts on what he had to say today? Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.